In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use libxml to a C-based XML library. It's a C-based XML library, so syntax is a little bit different than Objective-C, but it, it does a lot on, on reading and making XML. So I'll get you started on how to do this. So in, the, in, this, in my project, I'm going to create a new, right-click the project, new group, and, well, I actually already did this make it a C libraries the next thing I'm gonna do is click on this project build phases link library with libraries plus sign libxml equals filter select this one add it'll show up here and it'll show up uh, you know right in there somewhere you drag it down into C libraries I've already done that so it would be it'll show up here you drag it into your C libraries group for better organization okay next step is you go back in there go back into build settings and type header search path and in here double click Click on the plus sign and type in dollar SDK dir slash usr usr slash include slash lib xml2. Change this to recursive, just like I've done it over here. And then click anywhere else. It'll expand. The dollar SDK underscore dir is a system variable on where the software development kit is installed. It'll expand it to you know slash application blah 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 whatever it is. So just change that. That's all you need to change. Now we can jump back into viewcontroller.h and I'm gonna type import <coughs> lib There is libxml and p. Parse it. You see now it's, it, it can find it and code assist will show up. I'm going to put that in there. Dollar import libxml three. So we can start importing all the classes in there. And the viewcontroller.m file. And anywhere that you want to work with XML, you can start working with XML. For example, I am going to create an XML doc pointer. See all these new classes that now have shown up? So now there's your document XML node pointer. For example, that'll be my root node. Now I can initialize the document to XML new doc. Type in bad cast 1.0. A bad cast, we are working with, this is a C library. So we are working with char, pointer to characters, no, not string, so we gotta convert it. So that's the, what the bad cast does root node xml new node null again the bad cast root node XML doc set root node element in the document folder or root node. So now the root node has been set into the document. So this, you see how that goes. You can do other things like um, XML new child. 
the root node. Who's new child in the root node? That would be null. Bad cast. Child no, whatever you want to type. And you know, this variable bad cast. child node content so that's how it goes you can even do other things like you know create attributes XML node pointer attributed node attributed node going to be XML is equal to XML new node new child of the root node that we already have up there this could be null bad guest This null XML new property. Now we can make a property. Attribute property, same thing. Whose property? Attributed nodes property. Well, attributes and properties are actually the same thing. We could have said, you know, property node with a property. So don't get confused. Attributes property are interchangeable. Bad, oh come on. Bad cast. Attribute one. Bad cast first. Now a property of it has been set by the name of attribute one. Its value is first. So that'll get you started in the world of uh, using libxml to to make XMLs. And there, there are you know look at the documentation now on how to read it. I think that I'm gonna have another session, um, maybe in, in this session, talk about how to do some of the other things. For example. It's uh, possible to include comments. How do you XML node pointer? Comment. And comment is XML new comment. Bad cast. This is a comment. An XML add child. Who are we going to add it to? Root node. And what are we going to add? Comment. So that's how it goes. Now to output the comments, you can do something like this, XML, <coughs> care, output buffer, int, buffer size, and dump the document to a buffer xml dot dump format memory which one the doc that we have been work created earlier 
ampersand sign out put buffer so that that's working with pointers you know ampersand sign buffer size we are sending buffer size by value basically you, you, or a point that's basically with the ampersand sign that's what's going on buffer size being sent in by value I think in, in another objective C tutorial I talk about how to pass variables by value and by reference this is by value so when this function executes at line 35 buffer size uh, the output buffer for example will have something in it by value ampersand sign that's what ampersand sign does that would be one now I can convert it to an string balance the brackets in it with bytes what output buffer what's the length buffer size what's the encoding N S U T F eight string encoding. And now I can NS log use it as an NS string. NS log and for some sign double quote double quote backup percent at comma xml string so now the xml string is the xml from the c character is has turned into an a string i can work with it in object c and then some cleanup operation so xml free we're at the output buffer free up the output buffer and XML free what else I want to free up doc this is uppercase so what else I want to I want to do XML clean up parser run that method so everything is all cleaned up 